Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. The risk of firearm death in the U.S. is on the rise. In 2020, firearms became the leading cause of death for children, adolescents and young adults. Yet the risk is far from even. Young men in some U.S. zip codes face disproportionately higher risks of firearm-related injuries and deaths. To better understand the magnitude of the gun violence crisis and put it in perspective, researchers at Brown University and the University of Pennsylvania compared the risk of firearm-related death for young adult men living in the most violent areas in four major U.S. cities with the risks of calm. The results were mixed. The study, published in JAMA Network Open, found that young men from zip codes with the most firearm violence in Chicago and Philadelphia faced a notably higher risk of firearm-related death than U.S. military personnel deployed to wartime service in Afghanistan and Iraq. But the opposite was true in two other cities. The most violent areas in New York and Los Angeles were associated with much less risk for young men than those in the two wars. These results are an urgent wake-up call for understanding, appreciating and responding to the risks and attendant traumas faced by this demographic of young men, said Brandon Del Pozo, an assistant professor of medicine, research, at Brown's Warren Alpert Medical School and an assistant professor. His recently released book, The Police and the State, Security, Social Cooperation, and the Public Good, is based on his academic research as well as his 23 years of experience as a police officer in New York City and as Chief of Police of Burlington, Vermont. Working as a police officer, I witnessed the toll of gun violence, and how disruptive it was for families and communities, Del Pozo said. It stood out to me that the burden was not distributed evenly by geography or demographic. By analyzing publicly available data on firearm fatalities in cities and in war, we sought to place that burden in sharp relief. At the same time, Del Pozo said, he and the other study authors were responding to oft-repeated inflammatory claims about gun violence in American cities. We wanted to use data to explore these claims, and it turns out both are wrong. While most city residents are relatively safe from gun violence, the risks are more severe than war for some demographics. Illustrating the magnitude of the firearm crisis to conduct their analysis, the researchers obtained information on all fatal and non-fatal shootings of 18 to 29-year-old men. For New York, Chicago and Philadelphia, they used shooting death and injury datasets made public by each city. For Los Angeles, they extracted firearm death and injury data from a larger public data set of recorded crimes. Data were aggregated to the zip code level and linked to corresponding demographic characteristics from the U.S. Census Bureau's 2019 American Community Survey. Because there is limited data about the risks of serving in different military units at different times during the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, the researchers considered the mortality and injury data of a single, de-identified Army Brigade combat team engaged in combat during a 15-month period of the the researchers found that compared to the risk of combat death faced by U.S. soldiers who were deployed to Afghanistan, the more dangerous of the two wars, Young men living in the most violent zip code of Chicago, 2, 585 individuals, had a 3. 23 times higher average risk of firearm-related homicide. However, these findings were not observed in the most violent zip codes of Los Angeles and New York, where young men faced a 70% to 91% lower risk than soldiers in the Afghanistan war across fatal and non-fatal categories.
When the researchers looked at the demographics of the young men in the zip code studied, they determined that the risk of violent death and injury observed in the zip codes studied was almost entirely borne by individuals from minority racial and ethnic groups. Black and Hispanic males represented. In the study, the researchers make the point that the risk of firearm death is not the only thing that young men living in violent U.S. zip codes have in common with young men at war. Exposure to combat has been associated with stress-inducing hypervigilance and elevated rates of homelessness, alcohol use, mental illness and substance use, which, in turn, are associated with a steep discounting of future rewards, they write. Our findings, which show that young men in some of the communities we studied were subject to annual firearm homicide and violent injury rates in excess of 3.0% and as high as 5. 8% lend support to the hypothesis that beyond the deaths and injuries of firearm violence, ongoing exposure to these. The study results, Del Pozo said, help illustrate the magnitude of the firearms crisis, a necessary understanding to municipalities seeking to formulate an effective public health response. The findings suggest that urban health strategies should prioritize violence reduction and take a trauma-informed approach to addressing the health needs of these communities, Del Pozo said. The study was supported by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, KO1DA056654, and the National Institute of General Medical Sciences, P20GM139664. Brandon Del Pozo, Alex Noré, Michael J. Mello, Aaron Chalfin. In some U.S. zip codes, young men face more risk of firearm death than those deployed in recent wars, study finds. Science Daily. Science Daily, the 22nd of December 2022. ift.tt-8hipum7. Brown University. 2022, December 22. In some U.S. zip codes, young men face more risk of firearm death than those deployed in recent wars, study finds. https colon slash slash ift. tt, 8 hipmm 7 access December 22, 2022. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.